Welcome to Poseidon Tech. Today we have a different device, a game-ready mesh Wi-Fi system from Asus, and more specific, the ROG Rapture GT6. It has a 2.5 gigabit one port, it is 3-band, it uses AI for protection, it includes 9 internal antennas, support up to 10 Mbps throughput, it can provide large areas cover, and it has Aura RGB LED. Also, it includes two devices. Similar information in this side of the packaging. And here are some specifications, as well as QR code to download the app. A two-year warranty is provided with this product. Now it's time to unbox the devices. The hints in the cover provide this 3D feeling and is very satisfying. Let's check it also from the side, which is more visible. A very premium feeling. Ok, enough playing with the cover. Time to see the actual devices. First, we have this helper tips paper with some instructions on the driver's update. This is one of the devices. Let's remove this plastic wrap. Really nice and feels solid. Let's check the ports. It has a 2.5 gigabit one port, 3 gigabit LAN ports, a USB port, the power switch and the DC in port. On the top we have the 3D ROG logo under this transparent cover which helps on the gaming character of this device. Let's open the second device of the pack. Both devices are identical. One device works as a router and the second one as node. Also, don't forget that these devices can work also independent. Time to remove the plastic protective film as well. And let's see what else is included in the box. Some paper for instructions. and the warranty. Let's leave them aside. And in the back side we have this box which includes the power cord, the power supply, the second power cord, an Ethernet cable, and of course the second power supply. That's all. A final look and some info before we power on these devices. This Wi-Fi 6 3-band mesh Wi-Fi system with dedicated 5 GHz high-performance backhaul provides ultra-fast speeds up to 10,000 Mbps. The 9 powerful internal antennas and ASUS Range Boost Plus technology covers up to 5,800 square feet. The GT6 is made for gamers, since the dedicated high-performance backhaul and the new technology that improves backhaul capacity and performance provides seamless online gameplay. Smart antenna detects the best signal based on location and direction. Overall performance can increase up to 15% compared to traditional antennas. Strong connection across nodes means that you get seamless Wi-Fi experience. With ROG exclusive triple level game acceleration, player can enjoy the most stable connection, preventing jitter, reducing lag, lowering ping and boosting speed for fantastic gaming experience. Now that we know more, it's time to power on the devices. First, we connect the power supplies in both devices. 
turn both the devices on. And then provide internet connection to the one device that will work as a router. Once we have blue color in both devices, it means that are ready for setup. First, we need to download the ASUS router app. Open the application and select setup. Then select ASUS Wi-Fi router and manual connection. Based on the instructions, we need to connect to the Wi-Fi network that the device generate and then go back to the ASUS app. Once the device is found and internet connection detected, we are prompt to create a Wi-Fi network. Provide the SSID and the password and press Next. Now we need to create an account for the device. Provide username and password. and press apply. Then the device is setting up the network and we are prompt to connect to the created Wi-Fi network. After that, the nodes are joining the network and the mesh network activated. Finally, after a quick firmware update, the setup process is completed. And this is the app interface with several information in the home screen for the real-time traffic, the network, the CPU and RAM, and of course the connected clients. Under Mesh Wi-Fi System sub-menu, a visual presentation of the Mesh connection and the connected clients appear. Also, the mobile game mode is easily accessible from the home screen. More on that later. Under device screen, we have information for each device and of course additional info by pressing on each device. We will not go through all of this now, but for sure there are plenty of options for configuration and settings. The inside screen provides some options like Wi-Fi sharing, product registration and many other. Now under Family, we have the option to configure different access rules based on the age of the user. Last and most important, the Settings screen. Plenty of options for configuration and controls. We will not go over all of this, but for sure we need to give a look under the Gaming session, where we have the option for Open NAT. Here we can choose a game, plenty of options. and configure our network with the best settings for this game. This will ensure the best game playing experience. Also, from this menu, we can access mobile game mode. One other section that worth give a look is the quality of service. Here we can enable quality of service and as you can see we have plenty of profiles for gaming, work from home, learn from home, web surfing, and many other. Also under the internet speed, we have the option to provide the speed test. My current speed here is 50 down, 5 up. And as you can see, we can reach these speeds very easily. Now let's go back and go to the side menu where we have themes. Let's select the simplicity white. As you can see, it totally transforms the mobile application. Similar information, but totally different interface. This is a very nice touch for the mobile app.
now from the main screen let's access the mobile game mode here you can boost your device by simply pressing one button let's press the go and as you can see this gives priority to our device over the network This is one of the three options for the gaming mode. If we go now to devices and select the device we have boosted, as you can see, the mode that has been selected is gaming. Very easy and friendly user interface. Also, we can stop the boosting mode. This Wi-Fi mesh network provides also a web interface, so let's open it. As you can see, in the main screen we have some useful information, like the tree band, the one IP address, the internet status, the clients connected, network traffic, ping and ping deviation of course, some options for the RGB lighting, since this system is mostly for gamers, let's play a little bit around with the RGB. From the main screen, you can navigate to the RGB settings, and here you can configure the lighting in both devices. Change the color. And there are also some modes. A very nice touch. Different modes for the lighting. Okay, enough with the RGB. Let's go back to settings. Also on the main page we have info about the ping status globally and let's give a look under the game acceleration where we have three levels the gaming port prioritization the game packet prioritization and the game server acceleration by pressing just a single button you can enable the game level acceleration you want. Also, from the web interface, you have access to the open NAT. Where you can find several game profiles. Game Radar is also accessible from here. Also, we have option for VPN. You can select a VPN server, create profiles. Very easy. Now the most important, let's go to wireless. Several options here. But the most important is the following. This Wi-Fi mesh system supports UNII 4 Spectrum, also known as 5.9 GHz band, which unleashes the power of Wi-Fi 6 by bringing a third and clear 160 MHz channel, without any radar system interference. By leveraging this advantage, users can enjoy stable and powerful mesh backhaul performance that improves the signal range of the 160 MHz channel up to 20%. Due to regulatory restrictions, the expanded UNII4 spectrum and the 160 MHz bandwidth may be unavailable in the 5 GHz band in some regions and countries, and of course to benefit from Wi-Fi 6 router features, compatible Wi-Fi 6 devices are required. Now, under the USB application, we have several options. 
one of the most important in is that you can use this USB port for time machine and of course as download master, a PC free download manager. One other thing that we should highlight is that this Wi-Fi mesh network is compatible with Amazon Alexa. So you can trigger some actions through your voice assistant. Now it's time for some speed test measurements. We'll use this QNAP as our server connected to our router and put the node in a different place far away where we'll connect our Wi-Fi client. We will also use the open speed test which will be running on a docker in the QNAP. As you can see, it is up and running at this specific port. And it's ready to execute some measurements. We will execute the measurement using an iPhone which is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. As you can see, we are reaching some really good speeds. More than 800 megabits per second. Really good performance. No delay at all. Now, our opinion on these devices. We have used them for several days in a row are really robust, it's very well made and it performs great. Also, it is game-oriented devices, are highly suggested. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.